What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today I am playtesting a nice little uh, Ritual Chaos deck. Now it's one I just picked up online. I switched out the Relinquish though for Shinato, King of a Higher Plane. One of my favorite cards as a kid whose effect is actually pretty good. So uh, when he attacks on a defense position monster in your opponent's side of the field, they lose the life points equal to that monster's attack points. So it's very similar to Elemental Hero Flame Wingman in that sense. It's just, you know, you got to have him in, uh, in defense position, unfortunately. So there's a little bit of a drawback there. But it's still a fun deck regardless. I got a quick, real quick replay for uh, for this one. But we're running uh, one Souk, one Tribe Infecting Virus, three Chaos Sorcerer, a Sinister Serpent, a Black Luster, three Manju, nice because he's a light. Uh, Senju, also a light as well too. Uh, yeah, Sonic Bird's a wind, so didn't really want to have that in there. Uh, one Breaker, one Sangan, three Thunder Dragon, three Shinato, and one Shinato's Arc. Uh, ratio I saw for the Relinquish one was three Relinquish with one Black Illusion Ritual. So, I just kept it the same for this, and I thought it was pretty good. I mean, you'll see in the replay, unfortunately, we only play Shinato once. But, we were able to pull off his effect, so that's all I really care about, to be honest. Uh, so one Shinato's Arc, a Pot, to Upstart, Premature Burial, a Snatch Steel, Graceful Charity, two Metamorphosis, two Scapegoat, Heavy Storm, two Knock, a Delinquent Duo, Swords of Revealing Light, three Ragaki Break, uh, very nice for discarding, getting those cards into the graveyard, uh, Ring of Destruction, and a Mirror Force. So the side deck, we have a Mobius, our second Souk, a Karibo for a nice little uh, dark discard. Two Azura Priest, our third scapegoat, our MST, Brain Control, Mystic Walk, uh, two Poison of the Old Man, Card Destruction, Toronto's Tribute, and two Royal Decree. You know, one thing I probably would do in the future, because this is me just kind of playtesting it right off the rip, definitely adding in some Book of Moons. I mean, for Shinado, you want them to be in defense position, so, I mean... You might as well play uh, some Book of Moons, right? I mean, <laughs> you want in into a uh, defense position, but hey, these are things you kind of catch on after the fact. So definitely going to be a little bit of a pet project of mine because Shinado is cool. I mean, it's good enough to be the boss monster for a uh, an antagonist in the show. So yeah, I think it's time that we try and find some love. For Shinato. I mean, he's 3,300 attack, which that's, that's pretty good. You know, you're able to uh, attack over a Black Luster, so that's pretty solid in my opinion. But let's get into this replay, and uh, of course, give me your thoughts down below. You know, what would you do a little bit differently for this? But like I said, it's going to be something that I'm going to mess around with a lot on here. Because I really want to see Shinato play. People will play Zork. Why don't we, uh, why don't we play Shinato as well, too? Alright, so here we go into game one. I start off first. Set our Sangan, discard, uh, Thunder Dragon. Probably not the best order, but whatever. It really didn't matter anyways, I guess. Um, so we'll set those two. They'll draw, I'm pretty sure they're just playing some kind of fiend deck light envoy but it was weird because they also had slate warrior in their deck as well too so they'll play swords uh flip up my sangan they'll attack with their sangan uh with that i will search out manju just to kind of get it rolling a little bit more nice that we're able to search out manju with uh sangan right break his face down there's a dust tornado and discard one of our thunder dragons Thankfully, with that, you know, get a little extra lights in there. So we draw Chaos Sorcerer, get him out, banish off his Sangan to uh, get that out of here. They set their Slate Warrior, draw Upstart, and we just pass. I mean, they got swords, so, you know, there's not too much that we can do. 
Uh, they attack in, flipping up Slate Warrior. We play Ring of Destruction. We both take that 24, which is nice still because that means, you know, if we have to attack Slate Warrior, we won't lose that 500. So, going to our turn, we still got one more turn left on Swords. Draw into Scapegoat. We'll set that. And we lose the Swords, thankfully. They play Snatch Steel, play our Goats. They attack into that. Nice and easy. So we draw our Shinado. Gain our thousand from uh, Snatch Steel. And uh, yeah, go into Thousand Eyes Restrict. We'll just suck up our own uh, Chaos Sorcerer, unfortunately. Um, yeah, attack for that. Kind of just took it away without, I, without me uh, <laughs> declaring it. But whatever. I mean, that's what I was going to do regardless. So, uh, we draw a knock, which is definitely nice. Seems like I'm always top-decking that whenever, uh, I need it, which I'll definitely take. It was New Doria that he had face down, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Definitely running that Fiend deck. Plays Mirror Force, I mean, you know, we're gonna have to run into it eventually, unfortunately. Um, we pass there, they rip Pot of Greed, they go into Emissary, which, again, I guess they're playing a Fiend deck, so I guess it's... It's poetic in a way for a fiend deck to go up against Shinato, the king of a higher plane. We play our swords. I mean, we're kind of just sitting on uh, sitting on Shinato here at this point. But um, yeah, we go ahead, bring out our second chaos sorcerer. Take that. We'll banish that off. Play premat. Get back our other chaos sorcerer, and they just submit defeat right there before we can even. Get out our our big guy, uh, Shinato, King of the Higher Plane. I think in this, I just side in. I think I side in MST. I forget what I took out, though. But I kind of figured he was playing. I don't know. I didn't really know what he was playing at first. I mean, he played Emissary. So I just thought maybe there's, like, some weird Exodia thing in here. Because I wasn't really sure what he would be... Uh, Searching with that? I do find out in this later on, yeah, it's uh it's the DD trainer, I guess would be the <laughs> the thing to search from that. So in game two, gets the Link with Duo right off the top. We lose the upstart. And yeah, I discard the metamorphosis because I kind of figured Alright, we'll just uh lose that over everything else, I guess. <laughs> I know it's tough when you uh, get hit with that. I guess I could discard Shinado because we do have three in the deck, but I don't know. You know, it's a uh, learning process, I guess. <laughs> so we draw a scapegoat. Metamorphosis would have been nice, but at the same time, I mean, what? Thousand eyes for a thousand attack had we kept on with the uh, Metamorphosis. So get Potter Greed. Draw Black Luster, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice to have. Swords flips that up, and I'm very confused by that. DD, DD Trainer. 2000 Vanilla. It's a Fiend, so I mean, he's definitely playing that uh, that Fiend deck. Uh, we said, all right, Gaki Break that we draw. He draws another <laughs> DD Trainer. Very interesting, but hey, I mean... <laughs> Some people, you know, they, they love their fiends. I can't say I blame them. We're, we're playing Shinado, so. All right, flip up the Raigeki break on the face down, and it's the DD Trainer. So, okay, at least we're able to get over that 2K Defender. Starts attacking into our tokens. I mean, we do have Mirror Force face down, but obviously I'm not about to waste it on a 1,000 attacker, especially when I have two tokens left on the field. So we leave it at that. They get up their Slate Warrior. There, I kind of feel, yeah, we should probably uh, nip that in the bud real quick. So they still got Swords up. We draw on a Graceful Charity. We uh, do that whole game. Discard Thunder Dragon. And we discard Sand Game. So get another Dark in our graveyard. I know that was kind of the uh, problem here. So we Heavy Storm. You know, unfortunately, we uh, lose our Raigeki Break. But whatever. They Comp Pulse our token. Whatever. Uh, play Manju. Manju, we get out Shinado's Ark. And then we go into it. We bring out the Heavenly Boy, the uh, the King of the Higher Plane. 
Shinato. So I am happy that we were able to get him out at least once. At least once. Then we get our BLS2, which is definitely nice to get out the uh, the two, you know. I mean, I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, so we attack into Slate Warrior, unfortunately. So we do lose our 500 attack there. Uh, Black Luster over DD Trainer, and then again directly. So and then Maju attack as well, too. Uh, so they set the Mirror Forest and Compulse. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, they do have their fiends in the graveyard, so they're able to bring out Dark Necrofear. They got Nidoria. Uh, Nidoria attacks into Manju. And he loses a few life points there, but it does destroy Black Luster, so that's, you know, pretty good. Pretty good for him. Pretty good. Necrofear takes out our Manju. We get the Noble of Cross out. Play Snatch Steel on the Dark Necrofear. Fortunately, he compulses it. I attack in. I get hit with that Mirror Force. We lose our Shinado, but we still got our token out there. <laughs> uh, Dark Neck Fear comes down again. And then Emissary as well. Attacks into the token. We get hit with Dark Neck Fear, unfortunately. Uh, we draw into Ring, and that's pretty much game right there. So, pop that. Hit uh, didn't really matter what one we hit, because he just uh, said, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> So there you have it. It is the Shinato King of a Higher Plane Chaos Ritual deck. I mean, I don't know. It wasn't really anything too special. I played against a weird deck. So, like I said, just a quick little replay more than anything. But Shinato, one of my favorite cards. So, you know, why not try and uh, play him in GOAT format? Nice 3,300 guy able to uh, take out a decent chunk of your opponent's life points if they got uh, something big. But yeah, getting in like some Book of Moons in here is going to be my next step. And yeah, comment down below what you guys think uh, should be switched around here and there. I'm sure I'll probably get some, some good feedback from you guys. You're always good for that. But if you want to check out these videos a day early, be sure to hit up the Patreon. I also have up some uh, some like other deck builds and whatnot as well, too. Get a nice Patreon pack every month as well. Be sure to check out the Etsy store as well, too, down in the description below. We will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye, and good night.